you know, walking through a bookstore today, like Barnes & Noble, Borders, or others, you know, you're hit by a bombardment of all kinds of magazine covers, book covers. You know, where I'm standing now, I, I just couldn't help but notice, here's Rolling Stone magazine this month, and here's the girl that they say is the sexiest woman on all the planet, Megan Fox. Recently, she hosted Saturday Night Live, and when you read the article, you find out, I mean, she's disguised, you know, describing herself as self-loathing and fearful of at night going to sleep. Imagine this, she's got to have sounds on, can't go in the dark. You know, it says, I don't want to have a gun because I'll shoot my boyfriend. She's a bisexual, she says, and she's fornicating, living with this guy. And, you know, you just start going down that path. You say, but she's being held up as a role model? Well, I, I, I see a self-indulgent lifestyle, and I also notice that here, Marilyn Monroe, she's got right there on her arm, is kind of like a celebrity role model for her. But think for a minute, where did Marilyn Monroe end up? I mean, here's a cover here with life, and she was once a beautiful girl, but cut down in midlife, what was it? Self-indulgence, drugs, that whole hedonistic lifestyle. And then think right after Marilyn, how about Elvis Presley, you know, the king of pop, drugs, it is a meltdown, and people say today, how could that have happened to such a talented person? Drugs destroyed his life. And then how about Michael Jackson recently? It's almost like he was a reenactment of Elvis. Drugs, age 50, out of control, and yet destroyed. And then I saw a musical recently called Wicked, and it was based on Wizard of Oz. And here's Judy Garland, 70 years ago, a beautiful young girl singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And yet now, when you think about it, how did she end her life? Tragedy, drugs, meltdown, out of control. You know, I just think it's important today. There's a lot of people that are talking about, hey, let's legalize pot, marijuana. There's no real effects to it. Well, let's think about that. Three reasons. We should not legalize marijuana. Number one, think about this. The data that we have today shows how strong the marijuana, the weed, the cannabis is from that which we had in the 60s. And think of the effects of that then on our mind and what it does in terms of the human body, let alone uh, work-related accidents and, and driving and, and absences at school, all of that. And we're talking of legalizing a, a marijuana today that is so much stronger than it was even in the 60s. Number two, you got to think about this. If marijuana was legalized, you know what that does? Statistically, it shows somebody that gets involved with marijuana, usually, oftentimes, it opens a door to experiment with other drugs. So let's try heroin, let's try cocaine. Now some people scoff at that, but the reality is it opens a door that can destroy lives by going down an even more dangerous path. And then thirdly, if marijuana is legalized, you know what that means? That's gonna mean availability to young people. Young people, because the stigma's off. And people, you know, out on the streets, giving it to their sons, daughters, buddies, friends. Out in California, they have medical marijuana today. And what is it? It's available, somebody has a headache, they just go into clinics, they get their marijuana, they're giving it to young people, heroin addicts go in, they get it, what do they do? Then they sell it to young people so they can feed their habit. They don't care, they're irresponsible, but the drugs just go out into the culture. In America today, we have 15 million alcoholics. Think of the toll this takes on our society. We have an estimated about five million drug addicts. Do we want to go down a path where those five goes to 10, 15, 20, and we see a culture that's rampant in drugs? Mexico is a lesson. Recently, they decriminalized marijuana, heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, and LSD in small amounts. Why? It's out of control. Drug lords, violence. It's really a meltdown of a culture. That's not what we want for America. We need to draw the line and stand strong.